baseball for you on a Tuesday night from Tropicana Field. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Atlanta Braves and the Tampa Bay Rays. Interleague baseball next. Brandon Waddell, a Texas born left hander, gets the starting nod. What's your take on him, Dan? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game, but don't let that whip fool you. So now into the box is Barry Iswaldo. He'll lead things and off here in the bottom the half Ray. of the first. The left fielder, Barry Iswaldo. Now the pitch. Grounded to first, scooped up. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Wander Franco comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season, and it's fouled away. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But this will get foul for strike two. Now a ball hit towards Simmons at short. Fielded cleanly and the throw will take care of him. So it's a brisk start to the home first tonight as there are two away. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And now a pitch on the way. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Avoids these Braves as they take the field here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over Eight. that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie. Dan, this team is playing we well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question. To you. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Here's Randy Arozarena. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. And the pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. The pitch. The second base. Brandon Lau stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early goal. Meanwhile, now, this is a fair ball down the line and left, and that ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Trey Mancini comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Strike two swinging. One ball, two strike. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Bottom of the second here with no score. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. From the stretch, Michael Brasso is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Lau at second. Mancini is over at first with one away. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Like clockwork. A four to six to three double play to end the threat. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. And He's coming off a three hit ball game in Sunday's right series here. finale. And he swings through a fastball Margo. and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. 
The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Standing in now, Tucker Barnhart. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Nope. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. One ball, one that one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. The 2 2. A little bouncer. Swing and a miss looked like the screwball there two gone. So now to the plate Barry is Waldo trying to avoid Don't becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here in there strike one. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head a fair ball throw into second. And he's able to hustle yeah. his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Wow, he almost blew that Not fastball bad. by, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it. And oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double, then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Lifted the other way to left center. And he can't track it down. A base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, he was almost out of the inning. The last two batters showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back to back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from him. So now to the plate, Ryan Mountcastle. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. First baseman not normally known as the greatest leapers, but this wasn't too bad. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. And now Randy Rosarena 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Ozuna is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. So now here is Brandon Lau 1 for 1 as he reached base with a double his first time up. No balls and a strike to count. Now here it comes. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Fouled off. The 2 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250, seven homers, and 30 RBIs. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 
Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Again, he sends it out of play. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Now with the plate is Michael Brasso as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. All right, come on now. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one, one and two. two strike. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push him, pull the throttle a little bit, throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Manuel Margo. He's 0 right for 1 thus far. Hey. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Mar one out. Go. You got one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. The catcher. Swung on but Tucker. fouled off to the left. Barnhart. Got two here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Rays go in order, one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Now to the plate, Barry Iswaldo, one for two with a double on his line thus far. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball one and oh. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Nobody here, nobody. Ball two. Shin high three, fastball two. that time, ball three. Lifted in the air out to center field. The Cunha is there and he has it for the first out. And with that we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. That brings up Wander Franco a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And a good fastball there but this just misses the zone for ball one. One run on three hits, one error in the ball game for Tampa Bay. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Swing and a miss. Looked like the screwball there. Two gone. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. Baseman, number As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been. Three. But we'll have to press pause is that strike three to retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. But they're on top one to nothing. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Randy Rosarena do up for the four five and six hitters and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, Only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. 
Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Stepping in now, no Brandon no Lau. And the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. He's got good swing in this stuff in this game. That's back to back K's, and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. So here's Trey Mancini. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one, he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here's another 1 2. Pops this one up. Randolph is under it, and that will end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Rays are out in front, one to nothing. Jimmy Cordero is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. The Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Tyler Matzik earns his third win of the year in relief. Diego Castillo records the save, his 24th on the season. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, the show.com time for baseball under the Tropicana Field Dome in St. Pete today the finale of this quick two game series between the Atlanta Braves and the Tampa Bay Rays it's interleague baseball on the show Tyler Glasnow gets the ball for the Rays in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, if he were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately, in his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Batting six. The next to bat for Atlanta, Tyson Randolph. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Ozuna on second. Albies on at first with two down. Two balls and no strikes now to the Atlanta DH. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Fouled away. The 2 1 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Braves will settle for just the one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Braves lead this one one to nothing. Now to the plate here is Tyson Randolph. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. 
Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. One and one. One and one to count. On, baby. Get your pitch. And now pitch on the way. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Count still at one and two. Hey, like up there. Hard on the ground towards short. He's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next, here is Tyson Randolph trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery in the dirt and block behind the plate. And no advance. It's ball one. The set and the 1 0. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. 2 0 count, the pitch. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And he'll keep that runner where he is, but meanwhile, it's 3 0 now. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. It was obvious when the count ran to 2 0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next one. Now at the plate, oh, here is Tyson Randolph. First pitch on the way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster hey, on closing course, the game down three. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Hit in the air to straightaway center. A Rosarena is there, two gone. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Five to two the final today. The Tampa Bay Rays used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Tyler Glasnow earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Nick Anderson wraps it up for the save, his 14th. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Now from Cobb County, Georgia, we're live inside Truist Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the Atlanta Braves. It's Braves baseball on the show, and, and now, it starts right your now. 2023 Atlanta Braves. Ian Anderson gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250. The batter will be Sam Hilliard. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! 
What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that and they take the lead. Set to get his evening at Batting the plate third. started. Tyson right Randolph field. trying to get right it going there. at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Now here's the first offering. Now boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. It dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So he's in the scoring position here in the home half of the first following the stolen base as we check out the teams that have run the most here this season. And you can see right there where they rank in that category. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Albies leads off second with one gone in the inning. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Marte is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. In now for Colorado, Aaron Schunk. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood in it. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executes. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And now digging in will be Sam Hilliard. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This is skied out toward right. Randolph gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rockies are out in front, two to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And well next to bat will be the outfielder, right Tyson field. Randolph. Tyson. Randolph. First pitch of the A-B now. One oh. The 1-0. One oh. hey. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it any time he wants for a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hilliard is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Stepping in for the Braves, Tyson Randolph flew out last time up. And now the first pitch. Popped him up. Chunk shading to his right. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Braves. So next to bat will be Peyton Engel. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. High in the air down the right field line. Randolph is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And now in the box, Cattell Marte. His career numbers in this matchup, he's 0 for 7. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Randolph has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. He's safe at the plate. It's a big two out hit, and that ties the ball game. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they... Into the box, Tyson Randolph popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. 
And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 oh now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Three and two now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, when you go with the slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. This evening's game comes to an end, 5-4, the final tally. The, the Rockies came through when it mattered in the ninth the on the way to the win. Cam Bedrosian wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Robert Stevenson earns the save out of the bullpen, his 14th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you. Getting set for baseball under the lights just outside of Atlanta at Truist Park tonight. Game two of this three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the Atlanta Braves. It's baseball. It's now, the show, and it comes your, your way next. 23 Atlanta Braves. Yanni Chirinos will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey it's hard to have all four of your pitches on but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them he's going to have a really good game. Batting third. The Striding in for the Rockies Cattell Marte as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Yeah he's not quite as powerful from the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones who had pop from both sides of the plate. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. One two three go the Rockies and now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score set to get his evening at the plate started Tyson Randolph right trying to get it going at the plate it's been tough sledding for him so far this year on the ground is short this could be two Simeon's there to second for one on to first not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Starling Marte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This one's flared off to the right side, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Throw to the plate goes right by him. And the pitcher was this close to getting out of the inning and leaving that runner stranded. But the guy standing on third had other ideas, driving in the first run of the game. The batter will be Sam Hilliard. Comes into this now at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Sam Hilliard. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And he's going to make the catch. Oh, and he paid the price for it, too, as he crashes into. Up next, Tyson Randolph. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And that misses ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Into the corner and slicing foul. 
Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started and coming forward the veteran outfielder Starling Marte fly ball out to straightaway right Randolph is there to put it away for route number one bottom of the inning now and digging in is the outfielder Tyson Randolph the right fielder Tyson first pitch on its way. One one is in there for the second strike. One ball, two strikes. Get down. The one two, two offering looked two like strike. a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hey, let it fly out there, huh? Here it comes. Full count, three two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And that'll bring up the infielder Cattell Marte. Fly ball out to right field. Randolph is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Striding in is Jose Brasino, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Hit sharply toward the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Simeon rounds third and is striding for home. He scores and the Rockies have tied it. It's a 2-2 game. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Marte is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the ninth. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Rod Hennessy claims the win out of the pen, his first. Robert Stevenson retires the side to hammer down the save, his 15th of the campaign. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Time for baseball on MLB Network. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Colorado Rockies and the Atlanta Braves. Ladies and gentlemen, your Atlanta Major League Baseball on Braves. MLB Network is next. Spencer Turnbull, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. Stepping up is Cattell Marte, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Working for the punch out and the offering skied into very shallow right. Randolph will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. So to get his day started at the plate Tyson Randolph tried to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. 
hammered the other way to deep right field. Racing back, the right fielder. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's given Atlanta a two-to-nothing lead. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. So here is Chris Owings. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Randolph is there, one away. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but. So the next to bat will be Tyson Randolph. He hit a two-run homer first time up. Yeah, not fooled by that breaking ball in his last A-B at all. He jumped all over it. It's such a good feeling as a hitter when you know you're picking up the secondary stuff right out of the pitcher's hands. Comes set and the 0-1. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, D. Rowe. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and time. Next to dig in, Peyton Engel. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Tyson Randolph. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Come on, now get your pitch up there. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. Boy, it's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this one. The batter will be Sam Hilliard. He yeah, comes in 0 for 2 right thus far. Here. Sam Hilliard. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Tyson Randolph will stand in here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Albies leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And there's ball two now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip Set to deliver on two and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in next, Tyson Randolph. Like he Number flew out in his last A.B. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of Randolph. some sort right here, Matty. 
But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's oh, in the oh, hole 0-2 now. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Popped him up. Hampson moving to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he puts a bow on this one to end it. How about his 25th save of the season? He's proven to be a solid tool in the back of the bullpen, and every team needs one of those. Five to two, the final today. The Atlanta Braves jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Spencer Turnbull earned his fifth win of the year. Diego Castillo closes the door for the save, his league best 25th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely. MLB's coverage of baseball on the show brings us to the home of the Braves, Truist Park. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Max Freed gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on. Next, it'll be Tyson Randolph. That he, too, good. had three knocks right in field. yesterday's win. Tyson. Here's the first Randolph. pitch to him. Strike one to start the at-bat. Oh one, here's the pitch. 
off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. Despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, Maddie, it's been a pretty productive week at home to say the least. Six and one on the recent homestand. The last thing you want to have happen is to get on the. Next to hit, Blake Sable. Nobody here, Blake nobody. Hit. Blake Sable. Pulled toward right center field. Randolph will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. No one on with one down, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. The 2 2. Moran. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Randolph is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Next up, Tyson Randolph. He bounced out last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, one and, two and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Next up is Tyson Randolph. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. First offering. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Blake Sable. He grounded out last time up. And there's a base hit on the line. The throw to the plate. The tag, and he's safe. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is... Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Tyson Randolph. Let's go One time. First pitch of the A-B now. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, come on, big dog, get your pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Come on, baby, see you touch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game, but it ends up hitting off the wall, and he heads into second with an extra base hit. We'll see if the next man up can come through in the clutch here. Digging in will be Tyson Randolph. He'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Tyson Randolph. Hey, let him fly, baby. 
Right guy, right quick. Need you here. From the stretch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1. Now a swing and a drive to center field. Back is the center fielder. Did he get enough of it? He did. Ball game over. Two-run shot to straightaway center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, when you get to extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Jimmy Cordero gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to the show.com. For the Pirates, two runs on four hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 45 minutes. Now from the Peach State, we're just about set for evening baseball from Truist Park. Tonight, the second of four between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. And now, your 2000. It's Braves Baseball. Next. Atlanta Braves. Ian Anderson is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him Dan. Hey one of the strengths of this guy is handling right handed hitters right handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy so he's doing a lot of things right when the right handers step into the batter's box into the box Carlo Rocha and we are set for Leading baseball here for this Houston. evening the third baseman number 34. Line drive base hit. That's a big knock right there for his confidence. He had seen it. He, you're walking to the plate. You know your average would dip below 220 for the first time in a long time. Nice A-B. Now into the box, Tyson Randolph. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. First offering driven nicely into the gap. Simmons rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner is in from second. And a relay to the plate. And he's safe. We didn't have to wait long for the offensive fireworks in this one. Two runners aboard and he got a pitch he liked. Drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs. And they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. And now here is Tyson Randolph stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B. maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Hits it high and deep out to center field a ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
ready now is Brian Reynolds. He's 0 for 1 thus far. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, gotta be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good productive AB to get this team going. Here we go, now right now, Tony. The catcher, Tony. Mine to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Now to bat, Tyson Randolph, right one for two Number with a 32. double on the ledger so far. He's set, here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Albies, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Throw over to the bag, and the runner will get back standing. From the belt, the pitch. Right over the top with no that curveball, and it's 0-2. Hey, come on, now one time, right here. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1-2. and two. Hey, let it rip, let it rip, let it go. And he won't go after the cut fastball, 2-2. Two and two. Ponce has thrown a little over 50 hey, innings right and has an ERA go. he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Hey, Four time. runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. On, Get your pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Oniel Cruz. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. At the plate now is Tyson Randolph. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Low for ball one. Now one pitch right here. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hey, needs right here one time. Two and one. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And it's two balls and two strikes now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. And what a play. A beautiful jumping catch to put an end to the inning. Another look at a fine play in right field to get up and pull this one down. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Carlo Rocha. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. And it's a good start to the inning for the Bucks. It's a leadoff double. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. 
Next to stand in is Tyson no, Randolph. Flew 32. out last time up. Almost, Tyson. Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, big he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple, but he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. 13 to 2 is the rather one sided final tally. The Braves get their 20th home win this year. Ian Anderson earns his eighth victory of the season. Mitch Keller was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. The so game. that's a wrap Three here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, minutes. Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you. From Cobb County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from Truist Park. Tonight, it's game three of this four game set between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. Stay tuned for Braves baseball starting now, now. Your 2023 Atlanta. Great. Tyson Randolph, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Out in front of it, strike one. First pitch, 7 11. A 1 1 oh, count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Now, boys, hey, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5 and 3 in their last eight games. Hey, Matt Evie, we're taking a look at a team right here, D Row. Through five games of this homestand, they're 3 and 2. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to 4 and 2 on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. Into the box now, Sammy Ciani. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Hey, come on, big guy. Oh, and two, Get here it comes. Ball, that's inside. Man, that's one of those. One How down. could you not swing one at down. that one? A good take there on that pitch. No, now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Key Brian Hayes that digging in now, and he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Now check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it, too. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Now it'll be Colin Moran. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Pops this one up. VR is over to take a look. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, 
attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game fouled off no outs yet no outs ready with another 0 2 fouled away Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball, every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. So now it's Brian Reynolds as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The average at 284 to begin play. Five homers and the RBI counted 35. Pitches popped up. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. And that one yanked just foul. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out. Well, I think Got after one. that foul away, this pitcher can go almost anywhere oh, he wants. Inside. That pitch was way off the plate and off speed. I'm surprised he even offered it that one. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. Helpful. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And he fouls this one off. Another payoff pitch. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. So stepping in is Blake Sable trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. No balls in one strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. No score here as we play inning number two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now into the box is hey, Tony Walters. Away. Seven, eight, nine. Bottom of the order set to go here in the third. In there. No balls and a strike. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Up next for the Buckos, Taryn Vavra. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Harold Gonzalez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he misses again, 2 0. Fouled off. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Home half of the third coming up, no score. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, Tyson Randall. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Now here's the first offering. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Oh, man, was that a hack. 
He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Scooped up. And there's one down now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Newman as we begin the top of the fourth. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Sammy Siani swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So it was a swinging strike three. Sammy Siani is sent packing for the second out of the inning. In now, Key Brian Hayes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2 and 0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Albies trying to get there. He takes the turn and heads for second. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So some life with two away as he's into second with the opposite field doubled. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently pacing the club here as we approach the midway point of the season. To the plate now, Colin Moran as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A pause and the 0 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Two out double left stranded. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Ball one. And that misses Brian for ball one. Reynolds. A 2 and 0 oh count to the Bucks center fielder. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. And this is lined into left field, and the leadoff man will reach. It's a base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Changes up on him there, but it's 1 and 2. Uh, he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire though. That'll bring up Tony Walters. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air into shallow left center. Ozuna comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And stepping in, Taryn Vavra struck out in his last trip to the plate. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Softly hit toward the hole. 
Albies brings it in. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh. Halfway home, still no score. So here now is the pitcher, Tyson Randolph, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. The 1-1. One, one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Sable moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Harold Gonzalez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. Now a ball lined to the left side. But a foul ball, one and two now. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making yeah, these hitters swing the bat. The so now to the plate, Kevin Newman. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. No runs, two hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. This is flared right back over the mound. And there's out number two. Stepping in next, Sammy Ciani. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Part of the order three four and five coming up. Atlanta leads it one to nothing. Stepping in once again is Key Brian Hayes. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Nice job there, taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Colin Moran stands in as he looks at a called strike. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Next, it'll be Brian Reynolds. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. The next 0 2. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. 
very weakly on the ground. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Down in order go the Pirates. They still trail 1-0. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyson Randolph. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. New inning set to get underway, and standing in the outfielder, Blake Sable. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. And another foul ball. Now another one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Tony Walters. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he'd like that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Taryn Vavra, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side, and Simmons will make the play here to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Get ahead right now. All set to start the ninth hey, in this one. Now. And next will be the pitcher, Roel Ramirez. And we Roel. kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. So next to hit is Kevin Newman. He bounced out last time up. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna on the move. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. So now to the plate, Sammy Ciani. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the first pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. That evens it up one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And now this crowd announced at around 22,000 comes to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. Atlanta used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Tyson Randolph earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. Harold Gonzalez is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
Thanks for watching the Tyranin YouTube channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified on when new content is available. Let me know below what you think, roast me for how terrible I am. And don't forget to follow me on my socials to keep track of when I'm live. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time on the Tyranin YouTube channel.